Hello friends, I am Shivasundar. I am a freelance journalist and an activist from Karnataka. Today, in a brief time, I am trying. Uh, I will try to explain you the developments here at the Baba Mudan Darga, which is a historical and a syncretic shrine in the Karnataka, which is situated in the abode of uh, in the district of Chikmagalur, amidst the Western Ghats. As you know, Darga by itself is the uh, spiritual abode of the uh, subalterns belonging to both the religions. Baba Budan Darga as such derives its name from a Sufi site by the name Baba Budan. And the whole mountain is popularly known in the uh, among the people, especially downtrodden people as Dada Ki Pahad. Dada Ki Pahad is again the name derived from the Sufi site called Dada Hayat Mir Kalandar, a Sufi saint again. Uh, Mr. Baba Budan is a Sufi saint who is believed to have arrived at uh, Chikmagalur at this place at, uh, in the 17th century. He is also believed to have brought along with him coffee seeds and the first ever coffee cultivation in Karnataka and also in this country was introduced and is actually attributed to uh, Sufi saint Baba Budan. The Sufi cult as such uh, has a great influence among the downtrodden and the oppressed caste of the Bodhi religions here and uh, Baba Budan became very popular and uh, people used to visit this shrine irrespective of the religion. Tipu ki jamane mein idhar ka, uh, the people believe here that uh, Tipu and the Mysore kingdom even after uh, Krishna Javadiyar came to the throne and even during the British they actually supported this shrine. Darga as such is uh, uh, it has a urus. Saal mein ek bar urus hota hai aur pura uska supervision jamedari pura udar ka sabhi darga mein aisa bhi hota hai. Sajjade Nashin naam ka ek manager hota hai aur Sajjade Nashin shakadri karke bhi bulate hai unko. He will appoint a mujavar and Sajjade Nashin or shakadri will be the religious and the administrative authority of the dargas broadly speaking anywhere in this country. And the Sufi nature of worship is made dono tarakka ka kudara ka mang karna ya Hindu god ka jo prayer hota hai, wo dono mix karke hota hai. That's why it is called a syncretic shrine. In fact, Hindus consider this as a abode of Dada Hayat, which is also, who is also we considered as Dada Treya. Uh, Dattatreya is not Brahmin Dattatreya, he is considered as a Avadhuta Dattatreya. Avadhuta Dattatreya is an Avaidic uh, uh, deity, he is not a god by himself. It is a Shudra tradition, it is also a part of what is called as Natapanta. And in the history, in the theological history of India, you can see the confluence of both these streams. You have Nata stream and the Sufi stream together have taken, have merged together and have actually. Uh, led uh, into a new version of a theology, which is basically um, anti-Vedic in a sense, and it is anti-fundamentalist in its nature. Jo Musalman idhar aata hai, wo Hindu tarike ka bhi puja karta hai. Jo Hindu idhar aata hai, wo bhi Musalman tarike ka puja idhar karta hai. And uh, actually, the, after the independence, after the constitution came to existence also, we did not have a administrative operators which would consider this kind of uh, religious practice as a separate thing. Either it should be a whole Islamic tariqe ka bhi nahi hai or pura Hindu tariqe ka bhi nahi hai. Magar dono log aata hai. So you cannot clear cut. You, can make a, you cannot make a watertight compartment as either it is Islamic or Hindu. But there was a big confusion when there was a works board which was actually uh, came into existence during the late, I mean, early 70s. And a works board was formed in Karnataka in 1974. There is a work board, there are all works properties that are inside the works board. Then there came a question, where should this Darga belong to? Because during the time of British, Darga was managed under Muzrai department. Muzrai department, as you can see, Hindu temples jo hai, uska management karta hai. Magar, this particular shrine, this and another shrine in uh, Shumaga district at Hangarkatta, these two shrines were both Hindu, and, even though it was governed by a Muslim family and uh, though it was an Islamic shrine, it was considered as an Islamic shrine, because it was syncretic in nature, it was administered under Muzrai department, but nevertheless, it was given a status of Matadipati.
इन द सेंस कि वो विशाखाद्री एंड सजादे नशीन जो हिंदू लोगों का मठाधिपति होता है ऐसा ही होता है मगर जब वक्फ बोर्ड का स्थापन हो गया तब ये बाबा बुडन दरगाह ट्रांसफर हो गया मुजराय डिपार्टमेंट से and this was question in the district court of chikmagalur where the shakadri refused the transfer and he did not agree to the transfer of the management to works board accordingly the district court in chikmagalur gave a judgment in 1918 hindu devotees had actually filed the suit the original suit itself had actually prayed that there should be a unhindered unhindered uh, entry for the hindu devotees to Offer their prayers at this shrine. If it is transferred to Works Board, then the Hindu devotees cannot enter into the shrine. That was the only prayer made by the Hindu devotees, and there was no other demand or the prayer to appoint a Hindu archer or claim that it was a temple or any such thing. In fact, the district court in Chennai in 1980 actually decreed in favor of the Shakadri and in favor of the Muzrai Department, and the shrine was transferred back to. a uh, muzrai department and shakadri and sajade nushan his authority religious and administrative authority was again established with the shrine but works board took this to the high court high court in 1991 the karnataka high court the two bench uh, high court in karnataka gave a historic uh, judgment saying that it has to be a darga so darga hi tarhe hona chahiye and it actually Hail the syncretic thing that is the syncretic practices that is being practiced there because वो माहौल ऐसा था by 1991 आप जानते हैं by that time रामाजन मबुमि मोइन पूरा भारत में बहुत तेजी से पकड़ रहा था और कर्नाटक में भी there was series of communal clashes because this रामरत्ते यात्रा had passed through कर्नाटक also under the leadership of Advani and there was a vicious communal atmosphere पूरा माहौल बिगड़ा था it was in this context where a you know, muslim shakadri was demanding that it is not just a islamic shrine it also belonged to hindu devotees and the high court actually hailed it as a great example of communal harmony in this country and it actually was retained under muzrai department but nevertheless the high court declared that it is a darga and it should be managed by shakadri who is also a sajjade nishi this was again questioned by the works board in the supreme court in 1991 may but the supreme court actually upheld the judgment given by the high court so in this way just prior to the demolition of babri masjid a full legal battle from the lower court to the supreme court about the religious nature of the darga had already taken place and the decree was that it is a darga and it should be governed by sajjade nishan and shakadri बट आफ्टर दी डी बाबरी मस्जिद का जब जो वो शहीद हो गया और पूरा भारत में पूरा जो हिंदुत्व फोर्सेस है वो पूरा एम्बोल्डन होके उनका नई तरीके का डिमांड चालू होने लगा In fact, in the meantime, there was another dispute regarding the religious practices at the shrine, and it was decided by the High Court and the Endowment Commissioner codifying the rituals that used to that had to take place at the shrine. What was the codification? Again, this codification, which was actually codified in 1989 February 2012, said that it is a shrine. It is a Sufi shrine, and it will be managed by Shakadri. It is the Guru's. is the only annual congregation religious congregation that should take place at the shrine and it is the mujawar who should go to the sanctum sanctorum and conduct all the religious practices this was codified in 98 1989 but after the demolition of babri masjid again the hindutva forces the bjp the vishwa hindu parishad and the bajrang dal came with a new demand asking the government to allow them to hold datta jayanti it's a new uh, religious practice uh, they started to observe at the Uh, he did up and they demanded the government to allow them to have these practices for three full days uh, anusuya jayanti datta jayanti these are a brahminical hindu rituals it is not even hindu by that uh, in that sense there was no anusuya jayanti there was no datta jayanti before but the government the congress government under virappa moyilu then it allowed these religious practices and this new rituals there 
and that became actually de facto uh, rituals at the shrine by 1997 again when the whole uh, the communal ka mahol jo tha wo bad raha tha this was made use completely it was made use by the bjp and they started to use, introduce newer and newer rituals by 97 onwards they started one more ritual called dhatamala for a week lang procession to uh, the babu and by 2002 after the gujarat massacre these people emboldened themselves to an extent of demanding that the shrine itself is a Hindu temple. Earlier, there was no such demand. The only demand was that if this was transferred to Oxford, the unhindered entry of the Hindu devotees will be curbed. And that is why it should be under the Bhuzai department. And the, all the court decision hitherto had, on, had actually enforced the authority of the Shakadri and Sajjadi Nashin at there. And it had defined, even today, even on today also, the official name of the shrine is Sri Guru Dattatreya Baba Budan Swami Darga. So this religious nature was endorsed by the high court and the government level. But nevertheless, they had this audacity to demand that it was a Dattatreya temple. And by the time of Tipu Sultan, it was asserted by the Muslims with the help of the Tipu Sultan and converted into a Darga. And now in the style of Ayodhya, they are also going to liberate uh, the uh, the Datta temple from the clutches of the Muslim and they want to convert that into a Datta temple. That was the slogan by 2002. But the secular forces in Karnataka actually gathered in huge numbers and they said huge rallies. Uh, they, there used to be huge rallies every year. There was Datta Jayanti, but prior to Datta Jayanti or after Datta Jayanti, there used to be a big uh, conglomeration of the secular forces to demand that the religious, the Sufi nature of the science should be retained, etc. But this was questioned in the High Court again in 2003. The prayer was that there should be a Hindu archak at the shrine, and this was a temple served by during the time of the Tipu Sultan that should be reverted back to the uh, Muslim, uh, the Hindus. That uh, they knew. Uh, trust came in the name of Sri Dattatreya Samvardhana Seva Samiti, etc. And this prayer was admitted. The irony of the whole uh, issue is that by 1991 itself, there was a parliament act passed in the, I mean, there was an act passed in the parliament in 1991, which is called, as you know, Places of Worship Special Provisions Act 1991, which says that except the Ayodhya Babri Masjid dispute, dispute all other religious uh, nature of the other places of worship should be retained as it was on August 15, 1947. Any conversion from the nature that it was during uh, August 15, 1947 shall be construed as a crime, as a punishable offence. So government should not allow conversion. And it, it is the bound and responsibility of the government to retain the religious nature of any places of worship as it was on August 15, 1947. So this new case was, uh, new petition was filed in 2003. That, may, in fact, court should have considered that this would violate if a Hindu archak is nominated, if a Hindu agama ways of worship is allowed in the shrine, that would convert the religious nature of the shrine. But nevertheless, court admitted the uh, prayer, I mean, petition and in 2007 even allowed the petition asking the endowment commissioner to conduct a public hearing to find out whether the religious nature of the shrine was converted during the type of Tipu Sultan and if that is ascertained, then a Hindu Arthak should be nominated completely. Court itself violated the spirit of the Places of Worship Act in 2007. This was challenged in the two bench, uh, double bench court in the High Court. It actually actually stayed the, I mean, it, it did not stay, it actually allowed the petition, it upheld the judgment of the single judge. And that was challenged in the Supreme Court in 2008 by the Citizen for Justice and Peace, led by Tisa Sitiwad and Komu Savardavedike, Communal Harmony Forum in Karnataka and many other prominent intellectuals in Karnataka like Tiwana Nansumuti, etc. And the court actually allowed, gave a stay order where it demanded, it asked the government to retain the status quo as it was in 1989 that, that the Sufi nature should be retained, etc. But asked the endowment commissioner to conduct a public hearing. Accordingly, a public hearing was conducted and the secular forces gave a lot of evidence and there was historical evidence. In fact, there are archaeological, historical, administrative evidences and documents right from 1792, which prove that it was a sign all through. 
whereas on the other hand the hindu devotees have had their article of faith itself they only said that they believed so they believed that it was a dattatreya temple that should be allowed however the endowment commissioner then it was bjp government uh, during the time of edurappa in between 2008 to 2013 they actually held a public hearing and the recommendation the supreme court had ordered the endowment commissioner to file its recommendation but did, uh, should not act upon it and should be placed in a sealed cover so this sealed cover was opened opened in 2014 by the supreme court bench led by uh, justice ranjan gogoi and mr justice nv ramana and the endowment uh, it was actually uh, the report was shared with the petitioners and also the respondents and the endowment commissioner's recommendation was completely in tune with the hindu devotees he did not had considered the implication the implication of violation of places of worship act he did not even considered any evidences given before him he had only said that since the majority believe that it was a Dattatreya temple, and there was some hagiographic account of uh, Dattatreya around the shrine, etc. It should be Hindu architect should be nominated, etc. That was his recommendation. But the Supreme Court itself did not take any decision in 2015. It actually passed the buck on the state government of Karnataka and asked the state government to take a proper decision. The state government then in Karnataka was. uh the uh, congress government under sidramaiah it took it on its own sweet time and 2017 it constituted a high level committee under the chairmanship of retired uh, justice nagmohan das who was a retired justice from the karnataka high court and two experts were also nominated to the committee they also held a public hearing they uh, they were asked to actually give a hearing to all the parties and all the known people and uh, give the knowledgeable people about the practices of the darga and give the recommendation they accordingly held to public hearing and they gave recommendation saying that if the hindu archa is allowed in this reign that will actually convert that amount to the conversion of the religious nature and that should not be allowed and it also said that the hindu party who actually demand that it is a dattatreya temple have not produced a single iota of evidence to prove their case but on the other hand there are hundreds of documents and the evidence was placed before the committee to prove that it was a shrine since a long time ye yeah, hone ka baad karnataka government by 2018 passed an order in the month of march saying that the state sco as it was in 1989 that is darga nature and the sajjata authority should be retained as expected this was questioned by the दत्तात्रेय संवर्धना समिति अगेन इन दी कोर्ट मीन वेल टू थाउजेंड में इलेक्शन हुआ एक साल तक कांग्रेस और जनता दल का गवर्नमेंट रही बाद में एज यू नो बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट थ्रू इट्स ऑपरेशन कमल बीजेपी पार्टी केम टू पवर बाय 2000 लेट 2019 after coming to power the whole thing uh, the whole judiciary especially the government officers in the judiciary and also the administration started getting saffronized and when the case came before the high court the government advocate did not argue the case at all in fact he colluded completely with the petitioner and there was no argument shakadri also did not took it seriously finally in 2021 october the single judge bench uh, gave an order saying that the high level committee is completely prejudiced and even by appointment of the hindu archet that will not violate the provisions of the places of worship act and darga culture this is a very dangerous aspect that the court actually ventured into it said that even it the nature of prayer there by the muslims for example chadar jo टूम होता है उसके ऊपर ग्रीन चादर लगाते हैं चिराग का चिराग जलाते हैं चढ़ाव होता है उसका देर विल बी ए प्रेयर टू दीज थिंग्स मुजावर एक्चुअली शो दे रेवरेंस टू दीज पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स बट द कोर्ट ऑब्जर्व दैट चिराग चढ़ाव एंड चादर ये तीनों इस्लामिक प्रैक्टिस नहीं है ये शिर्क होता है अकॉर्डिंग टू इस्लामिक कस्टम्स सो दिस इज ए कॉमेंट ऑन दी वेरी दरगा कल्चर ऑल ओवर इंडिया फॉर दैट मैटर it is not only pertaining to baba bodan darga because in every darga in this country they have chara they will have chira they will have chadav and actually chadar lagana tombs ke upar wo sari darga mein chalta hai all this uh, was considered as a hindu remnant of the cultural practices there and that was considered as an evidence to prove that it was a devasthana it was a temple prior to tipu sultan and uh, accordingly 
uh, it said that you should uh, actually uh, need not consider the high level committee recommendations and the government uh, can once again conduct a public hearing and come to a decision according to the the uh, the government made or the inference drawn from those public hearing accordingly in 2022 the pretension natak dono tarah bangalore aur chikmagalur mein dono public hearing ka natak hua because it was already pre decided in that it was the bjp government and in, in fact the judgment actually derived its uh, spirit from the ayodhya judgment in fact it has it had quoted in the judgment the ayodhya judgment paragraph 852 verbatim which said faith of the majority whenever there is a confusion about what is the nature they are in god should incline towards the faith of the majority that is the very words used in the five judge bench judgment on the ayodhya the very same paragraph was used to justify the government the court's order here also accordingly the pretension of the public hearing was over and uh, on july 17 the uh, in a prayer to that a subcommittee of the cabinet was formed and uh, under that subcommittee this uh, public meeting was held and in one of the cabinet committee this cabinet subcommittee gave its report on july 17 the cabinet approved the recommendation of the cabinet subcommittee and on august 17 after a month it was notified and as expected it said that it is a uh, it is believed to be a temple which was converted at the time of tipu sultan and a hindu archak should be nominated more than anything else now shakadri's administrative and religious authority is completely removed from this line now a new administrative committee will be constituted where four will be hindus and four will be muslims and this administrative committee will appoint a mujawar this administrative will come committee will appoint a hindu archak and hindu archak will be preferring will be offering puja according to agama ways there is one more uh, important violation here because agama way of worship is a brahminical way of worship and avaduta if it is dattatreya also dattatreya belong to avaduta tradition who actually completely deny this agama kind of worship and vedic type of worship there be no havana puja uh, pratishthapana because there is a custom called pratishthapana in the hindu tradition it is believed that the southern part of india is not as holy as the northern part of india so gods in the temple should be they should be actually pratishtha they should be brought from the north and should be established there so these kind of things the avadhuta which is actually shudra natapanta does not allow this but even that was actually entertained by this uh, new order now it is also said that when this datta jayanti and datta mala was the new rituals now it is officially recognized the administrative committee has the responsibility to conduct dattamala and datta jayanti and other hindu festivals regularly now now one words and even the urus the order itself suggests that even the urus should be observed according to the hindu calendar and the bujawar will be guided by the committee which will be with the half of which will be hindus so completely now it is converted into a half temple already the karnataka government has called for the i mean has invited application from the both the communities to become the members of the administration these are all the pretensions of the democratic processes but essentially it is the exclusionary process in the name of uh, democratic process because the final goal of this whole thing is to exclude shakadri and remove the datta the religious uh, sufi nature of the shrine and make it a half temple and the order also says every day the archak can go and have the pujas there and only once in two week after the namaz muzawar can go and offer prayers of course it is said that even in the evening times muzawar can enter the temple but all through it is the archak hindu archak who will be given given all the privileges to be at the sanctum sanctorum and what would happen at this it is a cave darga it is, it is a small place actually and what would happen if hundreds and thousands of uh, hindu devotees come over there and if there is hardly few muslim devotees and hardly one single mujawar what would be in the story in the coming days and if more and more hindu celebrations are officially observed because this order allows for that not just for datta jayanti and datta mala and this will be completely made use of by the uh, sangha parivar and they will introduce newer and newer hindu festivals and completely starting with making it as a half temple they are going to make it a complete hindu temple it's unlike i Yeah. it is unlike babri masjid it is not a physical destruction it is destruction by complete ideological collusion of the judiciary and the judicial reluctance 
to actually uphold the spirit of the places of worship act which has clearly mandated that the religious nature of the shrines which was as existing on 15th august 1947 should be retained it is a common sense one can say that if you appoint a hindu archer and if you allow hindu ways of worship the religious nature of the shrine is going to change by but by this they are actually normalizing the hindutva common sense into the legal parlance and administrative practice and in the, after 10 years this becomes the part of the history and darga history will be completely erased and this erasure of visibility of uh, non hindutva entities not just islamic non brahmanic identities of hindu itself are going to be erased this is the hindu brahmanical agenda which is which is which has already been started in, i mean in practice the secular forces in karnataka had successfully avoided this conversion for full two decades from 1994 onwards there was a big battle actually waged every year uh, in the chikmagalur even at the baba budan darga but now the judicial collusion have empowered the hindutva agenda still there is a case pending which is which was filed by shakadri in the uh, two bench court of the high court which is actually um, uh, tra- the hearing is uh, done at the acting chief justice justice aradesh court and uh, day before yesterday the hearing uh, was uh, held and uh, the government said that they have actually implementing their uh, these kind of uh, recommendations the court has said that you can implement these recommendations but it will be it is subjected to the final order of the high court and uh, since the ayodhya judgment itself gives a highway for this kind of uh, conversion even though in the ayodhya judgment there is a paragraph which says highly about places of worship act it says that except ayodhya it should not be there no other uh, religious places should be converted but court in the very same judgment the karnataka high court has allowed this it is anybody's guess what would happen in the legal bait, legal uh, battle now it is up to the secular forces in karnataka to actually take this battle of secularism on the streets impress upon the people of both the faiths and fight for the justice that is the status that uh, actually is there now in karnataka but the larger implication is that the definition of darga nature by this single judge bench in its uh, 2021 october september's judgment is very dangerous because it says chadar chirag and chadav itself is shirk if that is extended to that is extended beyond baba budan darga no darga culture is possible in this country that is a very dangerous ominous sign i think country should wake up to this call the wire ke aur videos dekhne ke liye subscribe kare aur bell icon par click kare swatantra patrakarita ki aarthik madad karne ke liye description mein diye gaye link par jaye aur apni rashi chune